live in the Seattle area, you probably already know that there's great trails around. Within 30 minutes of the city, you can be out in nature and out riding some mountain bikes. But there's one spot that a lot of people have forgotten about, and it's right under the I-5, just north of downtown Seattle. It's called the I-5 Colonnade, and it was built in the late 2000s with the help of a lot of volunteers and the Evergreen Mountain Bike Alliance. Nowadays, the park is pretty much overshadowed by Duthi, which most people from Seattle probably know of, um, and it goes underused a lot of the time. But a lot of people are stepping in right now and uh, rebuilding the nade. It's got some great options for jump lines, drops, rock gardens, some flowy sections, and some really technical sections. Pretty much any type of bike that you wanna ride here from Trials to XC, you're gonna be able to ride. And I've seen some other videos covering this park, but it doesn't seem like a lot of people know that there are efforts going on right now to rebuild it. So if you guys have some extra time or you wanna just be a part of uh, rebuilding this park, then uh, head on over to the Facebook page, which should be Rebuild the Nade on Facebook. And there's pretty often dig parties and things like that going on. And it seems like just about every week something new is getting added. So right now the line that we're flying over is being rebuilt. Uh, the time that I went there, it wasn't ready for anybody to hit it. So you can be a part of building lines like that, expanding the features and cleaning up the park. The rest of this video is pretty much gonna be a ride through of the park and some of the features. So feel free to stick around for that or go back to the beginning and uh, watch it from an aerial perspective. I'm noticing a pretty weird sound that my bike is making. Uh, something I didn't figure out until after filming this and riding through the park was that my rear axle had completely snapped in half. Uh, no idea how it happened, but quickly got it fixed uh, in the next couple of weeks. Just a heads up for that noise. Coming up was one of my favorite features of the park. Um, it's pretty much like a skinny that is a roller coaster. So you gotta come up to the top of this right here, go down and on the right hand side, as you guys probably saw it in the uh, intro to the video, you can ride all the way down. It's a little bit sketchy, but it's definitely fun. These two lines right here were pretty fun to hit, a uh, little roller coaster, skinnies, or whatever you want to call them, but I don't see a lot of these out there in the woods that much, at least ones that are that long, so definitely test your balance and uh, it's pretty fun to hit. Oh.
find the smaller one. This is something that I am really glad I didn't hit because of the broken axle. But that Roland is probably 13 feet high. You probably saw me for scale at the beginning of the video. But if somebody hits that, props because that is pretty insane. Thank you.